Uh, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we're the studio team uh, from upstairs. You might know us from that. Um, uh, I'd just like to say uh, we've been working in a really fun way. I'm first of all going to introduce how we've been working. And we've played lots of games and lots of explorations, lots of improvisations, which we've been exploring together. And this has led us into the work that we've been uh, exploring, which is looking at perspective. The idea that you are looking at something through a lens, or do you have the ability to roam free and see something from many different angles? So, do we control what we are going to uh, portray to you? You see it from where you're sitting there. Um, there's going to be uh, about 11, 12, 13, 14, 14 different angles, all pretty much the same. But um, if we were to show you from one angle that we say specifically, we look at the media, let's take a photo of an instant in time, uh, how much can you take from that? A, a, a picture spells a, a thousand words. It's, that's, that's not the phrase, but it's, you, you know the one I mean. Um, but what does a, a moving image, does that give you more or does that give you less? That's what we've been exploring. And when we're looking at, the, at this, we're looking at how much are we going to control what the audience sees? Um, whether it be just through uh, um, a, a single image, a, a projection onto a screen, a, 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 a moving picture, the ability to walk around and see exactly what's happening here, or maybe just listening to one person describing what's happening, not being able to see what happens. How certain do you need to be? Thank you. So, great. Lovely, thank you. Okay, first question for the group. What have you been doing? <laughs> well, we've been playing games. We've been playing quite a few games, looking at um, improvisations and um, creating structures for us to play around with. Uh, one game we've been looking at is... Um, uh, uh, hold an image, you, you, someone says freeze, and they tag in and take that image and take it to somewhere else. And then we looked at how we could then develop that on further, how we could um, take that from um, uh, someone sort of tapping them, but instead, how, what if someone was to come? And then they have to change, the idea that someone can come in and influence, and only the individual who's influenced, it, and everyone else observing it is kind of none the wiser, but they're drawing their own conclusions. That's just one example. We've been looking at lots of different things. We've been looking at scale and other, other things. Thank you. Any other questions? George, you have uh, Are you interested in adding technology uh, to your process? And if so, how? Of course, we want. Um, <laughs> of course, we want. That's a question. I think the technological aspect of our project is very interesting, and it provides a lot of um, opportunity to open up new things and new uh, perspectives that you wouldn't get the chance to see and the, the thing about photography is you can see things really close up so things like people's faces their expressions things that change your whole reading of an image are possible to see because of this technology I think having it live in the space makes it even more exciting you know that that thing is really happening you're watching it as an audience and then that I mean everybody likes a good reveal don't they so we're quite excited to get those um, yeah to get the live feed going the technology you're talking about using is a live feed yeah pro with potentially a camera with a live feed so that we can get the projection and the of moving kind of image wearables that we can be taking pictures oh wearables you've got wearable tech well we just stick you it stick on it on sellotape yeah, okay good. it's wearable now <laughs> okay any other questions <laughs> yes wearable, isn't it? <laughs> wearable tech um, how would having extra people in your group help what, w what would be good about having new people? Well, we've been telling each other a lot of our stories and secrets, so it'd be really nice to enrich that, have more vocabulary and have more like material, because everyone is so unique and they've got everything to bring, uh, lots of things to bring to the table. So We went around and talked about our practice before we started working, and we've got a lot of really interesting people, you know, with super diverse backgrounds, and that we're finding that that's really feeding into our work. What are your backgrounds? 
I cook cakes. I cook cakes. <laughs> um, I'm a dancer and choreographer, and I work a lot in film and with new technologies. I, I'm a dancer, choreographer, um, musician, and I work a lot with technology as well. Uh, I, I'm an actor and uh, occasional director, and uh, I, I move around a lot and uh, do a bit of uh, clowning and whatnot. And uh, in addition to that, I also work as a technician. And she's also a translator. Thank you.